What is up, guys? Big Goofy Nine here. We are back on the Desolation map. And I thought we might work on a black skyscraper today, but which one, you ask? I know there's a lot of black skyscrapers to talk about, but we're not working on that. We're working on this one, guys. That's right. This black skyscraper here is so close to getting done. I mean, I always, I always say close to getting done, but in reality, we got, I don't know how much more work to do in here. Just a lot, okay? There's a lot of work. Some more on the Axis Chemicals corporate offices. Of course, you guys remember the previous video, the corporate office has got a little bit of a lab going to it. So, that's uh, what I'm going to start on today, and then I'm going to start doing some uh, wall and floor work. I know that sometimes it's not exciting, but I feel like it's important to show you guys this because it's a part of the desolation map. It's something you guys have to do in all your builds. You want, let me, let me say this right now. Every single room you have in a this particular building should have different walls and different floors. I mean, for the most part, 90% of the time, right? Think about every single building you've ever been in in your entire life where the walls and the floors the same throughout the building. Think about your own house. Think about that. Look around your house. The carpet is different colors in different places sometimes, usually, unless you're living in like a studio apartment, okay? So usually the walls are different colors, the floors are different colors. So that's something that you guys should consider when you're building in Minecraft. If you want to go for realism, that, realism that is, okay? Realism is the name of the game here on the Desolation map, except when we're making Axis Chemicals, okay? This is a fictional evil corporation. You know, I could just see Dr. Evil working here. <laughs> One million dollars. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on this lab a little bit, and then I'm going to go branch out and start working on the office area and things of that nature. All right. Oh, one thing I want to also mention today is we're getting close to episode 350. Pretty close, I would say. So what I want to do for episode 350 is a Q&A sort of video. I've done it before in the past. I want to do it for 350. And uh, I'm going to need you guys to submit some questions for the Q&A. So whether it's in the comment section of the videos or if it's in Twitter, I would actually prefer Twitter, but that's okay. It could be in the comment section too. Just write Q&A and then your question. These questions could be about anything, guys. Anything at all that you want to know about me. And I'll try to answer as many as I can on episode 350. And uh, hopefully we get a wide range of questions. That's what I would like to see. A very diverse range of questions. And uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can, like I just said. Okay, so today is Monday, and of course we're building a fast forward on every single Monday. And every single Monday, Monday asks, I answer one of your questions. Okay, so I picked a question, and we're going to go with it. Today's question comes from Zachary Gibson, and he asks, If there was one thing you could be better at instantly, what would it be and why? Oh, that's a pretty good question, Zachary. He's Zachary83 on Xbox Live. He's a, he's a leader of Gaia. So, yes, you guys should probably you'll get to know Zachary pretty soon if you don't know him already. So, let's see here. Uh, okay, before I, add, before I answer this question, be sure, guys, to leave your creative question of the week in the comment section below. And uh, like, just like the Q&A, ask, ask anything you want to ask. This, this kind of like, you know, propels the, the channel in a way that you want it to go. So it's, everything's up to you. All right, let me answer the question. He said, if I could be better at any one thing, what would it be and why? I thought about this question. I thought that, you know, this question, the answer to this question would change depending on when you asked me, okay? If you asked me when I was like six years old, I would have tell you, I would have told you that uh, I like to be better at finding dinosaurs, okay? If you asked me like at eight, I would have said, uh, I'd rather, I want to be a fighter pilot, okay? I want to be instantly a fighter pilot. I mean, if you asked me at 12, I would have said, I want to be better at playing basketball or something, okay? But he's not asking me at these ages. Uh, he's asking me in my adulthood. And so I thought long about this, and I thought hard, and I was like, what would I want to be better at? It was a really tough question for me. I really didn't really know. Because I wanted to, I didn't want to waste it, you know? If I got to be better at one thing, I wanted this one thing to make me better at all different things. So, like, if I said I want to be better at writing, okay, for instance, then, I mean, that would make my writing better. But that's it, okay? Uh, I thought about being a better people person. I thought that might help me to, you know, expand my life. So I thought that that, that was going to be my answer initially. It was going to be like, oh, I'd li I like to be better at uh, understanding people. 
or understanding social dynamics, but, uh, you know, that was kind of boring, <laughs> okay? And not exactly what I'd prefer to be, be better at, to be honest with you. So I thought some more, and I said, uh, I'd, I'd rather be better at making money, but I thought that might be a little bit too vague, <laughs> okay? So a lot too, way too vague. That doesn't really, how do you even do that, okay? So I thought about it some more, and I finally came to, it was like a voila moment, of course. Of course. You know, asking me this question now, I have to answer it this way. If I could be better at anything instantly, it would be meditation. Now, a lot of you are scratching your heads like, you're like, huh? Meditation? When you guys think of meditation, a lot of you think of some, like, uh, monk in the mountains sitting on a cliff, you know, just staring off into the world. But, uh, you know, that's a very uh, narrow-minded view of what meditation is. Meditation is something that every single human being can do. You don't have to go to the top of a Himalayan mountain to do it. You can do it wherever. You can do it right now in the seat you're sitting in. If you're sitting in a seat. You can even do it while standing up. And it's something that uh, you can do for however long you want. It could be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, 2 hours. People do whatever you know they want to do. Okay? So, you're probably wondering now, what is meditation? And a lot of people think, say, yeah, I meditate, sure, I close my eyes and I start thinking thoughts. But that's not what meditation truly is. A lot of people will close their eyes and, you know, let the thoughts come to them and they'll get deep into thought and, you know, they might even, like, come to some conclusions about what they're thinking. But that's not meditation in the realest sense. Because what that is, is you're just letting your ego thoughts talk to you. And your ego if you don't know, it's just your inner self, your thoughts, right? Your, the ego is wondering uh, what to eat for breakfast. Um, it's, it's thinking about the thing that happened a week ago. It's worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's thinking about, oh, did I leave the, the washing machine on? You know, it's that sort of thing. That's what the ego is. It's a whole, all the thoughts you think are all ego thoughts, basically. Now, the point of meditation is not to allow the ego thoughts to come. It's actually the opposite. The point of meditation is to stop your ego thoughts from coming at all. Okay? You got to stop the ego because when you stop the ego from chattering, a lot of people call it monkey mind because it's like like a monkey. It never stops. It's just a continuous flow of just thought after thought after thought after thought. And because your mind is filled with these nonsense, pointless thoughts, you can't still your mind and figure out what happens when you do. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what happens when you do still. Well, I might. Okay? But so a lot of people will allow their ego to just, you know, be their meditative state. But that's wrong. What you want to do is get rid of the ego. And there's several ways to do that. Um, like these Buddhist monks, what they'll do is some chanting. Like, oh. Now, the point of the, the chanting is if you fill your mind with only one thing over and over, oh, you know, that's just an example of one thing people do. It could be any, any chant, really. And I don't practice this method, but I, I know about it. So if you fill your mind with a chant, then it doesn't allow your stupid monkey mind to enter because your mind is filled with this chant. So your monkey mind can't get its little wedge, its little paw in there, okay? It can't make its stupid little comments, right? So that's one way to still, still your mind. Uh, the method I use, it's probably a lot easier to use and uh, probably more accepted in Western culture is a breathing technique. Basically, you will control your breathing and you will focus on your breathing to where no other thoughts can enter because you are 100% focused on your breathing. You not only breathe, but you you focus on every aspect of your breath. You know, you focus on the feeling of the air going in, the feeling of your chest expanding, the feel the feeling of it staying in your lungs for a few seconds before you exhale slowly and then you focus on the the exhalation and the the way it feels going past your lips and the way your stomach you know, what's the opposite of expands, you know, decreases in size. You focus on all of that so that your monkey mind cannot get his little paw in the door, okay? And you do that for a few minutes, right? And eventually, it takes practice, guys. You're going to start off and your ego mind is going to run wild. It just takes over, 
total control and no matter what you try to do okay but like anything else in this life it takes practice to get better at you need to practice 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 and just like Alan Iverson says, okay, practice. What are you talking about? Practice. And so you just uh, keep practicing until you get good enough to where your concentration doesn't allow the monkey mind to enter. It doesn't allow your ego thoughts to take over. And of course, everyone, once in a while, an ego thought will slip in. But the, the technique is to allow that ego thought to, to slip in and to end it right there. Let that thought float away. And not let another one come in. And that, again, takes a lot of practice. So what is the point of all this, you ask? Like, why would I ever want to do this? Why would I want to get rid of my thoughts? I love my thoughts. Let me tell you guys, your ego mind is holding you back from true human experience. Because once you've quieted your mind long enough to, to get those ego thoughts out of there and your mind is quiet, you will start hearing another voice. And not in the literal sense. You know, I mean, some of you will. Some of you have clear audience capabilities. But your higher self, the part of you that's not focused with the mundane things of the day-to-day -day life, of the past or the future, the, the part of you that is completely focused on the present moment, who lives in the present moment, that's where all, the only place where they live. Right? That's what meditation is. It's living only in the present at that moment. And your higher self... The part of you that's not focused on the monkey mind will communicate with you. And this is your intention. Uh, this is your heart space. This is your your love, basically. And it will start communicating with you. Of course, it takes practice, like I said, but it'll start communicating. It'll tell you some crazy things about why you're here, where you should be going, how you should be going there. That's right, guys. Once you get rid of your ego mind, it allows, it gives space to a higher part of you that you are not even aware of. Most of you, you're not even aware is there. Because so many of us allow this ego just to take over complete control. I made a video about the left brain, right brain, long time ago. It was another creative question of the week. And that's, it goes along with that. You know, the left brain is your logical, oh, the logic, you know, what's going to be for dinner tomorrow. And you want to, you know, really silence that as much as you can. And allow the right part of your brain, the part of your brain that's creative and loving and feels feelings and stuff like that. You want to let that take over, take control. And that's what meditation does. So the reason why I say that I would like to be instantly better at meditation is because those who have been meditating for a very long time, who are very good at it, they are capable of some things that most of you will not believe. They're capable of telepathy. They're capable of... Uh, speaking with dead people they're capable of reading minds basically what it does guys meditation it helps you unlock your sixth sense which is your psychic ability there's a whole bunch of different kinds of psychic abilities we all have them all of us have psychic abilities and we call it psychic abilities it's not what you think it's not like in the movies or whatever but basically what it is is a sixth sense some of you are intuitive and you have this gut feeling that's almost always right that is that is a sixth sense that is a psychic ability some of you uh, see things in your mind that you're not sure how they got there some people just know things they just know right and you know and through meditation you can unlock these abilities of course it's going to take a whole lot of dedication a ton of it but it is possible we all have it and it's just a matter of turning off your ego mind and connecting with the the higher part of you that's that's just divine basically now you can believe me and or you can not believe me but this is what I believe because I've experienced it. So that's what I believe. I'm starting to awaken psychic powers. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty insane. So that's why I say to Zachary, yes, I would like to be better at meditation. And not only that, not only opening psychic powers, but the main benefit of meditation, guys, is, is making you calm, making you happy. That's what it really is all about because the more you meditate, the calmer, the happier, the more peaceful you will be in life. And everyone needs that in this world today. So that's why I would like to be better at meditation so I can be calmer, so I can be happier, so I can be more in tune with my higher self, and so I can develop my psychic abilities even further.
Okay? So, that's going to be the video today. Thank you, Zachary83, for your brilliant question. Be sure, guys, to leave questions in the comment field. Whatever you want to know. Okay? Whatever you want to know. Also, don't forget the Q&A. So, just write Q&A before your question. So, I know it's a Q&A question, not a creative question of the week question. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.